Alrighty, we are back with another review and today we're going to check out some vintage software that we got that is brand new and that is Slater and Charlie Go Camping by Sierra Software. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. So we got this vintage PC title from Sierra Games and let's see what we got here. 1993 is when this game is from. It's a children's game obviously, um, ages 3 to 6. Just had some cool packing material and it's on floppy so kind of wanted to share this with you guys. So we got uh, the sides just branded the name Slater and Charlie Go Camping. We got MS-DOS Windows 3.5 floppies, VGA and EGA. It's got the requirements here on the side. Um, you can browse that and pause that if you'd like. A talking book I can read all by myself. So there's some graphical shots of the game right there. Charlie, Charlie, we can play ball, said Slater. I will kick the ball to you. Or kick him in the balls, one of the two. And then we got uh, some more action shots here. Got some fishing shots, some camping. Looks like a beehive, some mushrooms. Looks like uh, Charlie and Slater find some mushrooms on when they're camping. That sounds interesting to have for kids. Um, so you got Windows compatible. So I guess you could actually um, play this on 3.1, I imagine. Maybe 95. It is from 93, so maybe you can play it on Windows 95. Um, let's check in the packing material that we got here. Now, when you first pop open the box, you got this pretty sweet Sierra-branded compass. Check this out. Nothing high quality or anything, but definitely something that isn't around right now, readily available. We have the Sierra logo in the center of this little cheap plastic made in Hong Kong um, compass. So, let's see. Does it actually work? Yeah, I guess that uh, would be north, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. So, I, if it actually does work, so that's interesting. So, that, at least that works. Um, I, I didn't think it would actually be functional. I thought it was just a toy that they just included for aesthetic purposes. So, that's kind of neat. Then we got the Sierra discs here. We got disc one, disc two, and disc three. Disc one's a startup, and then uh, disc two and disc three. And this is version 1.0. You can see these labels are printed on a uh, a typewriter type printing machine. You got Sierra Online Inc. Cars Gold, California, 1991. Interesting. They still got the lock on there. I thought they used to do ones where they didn't allow you to erase them you got the slater and charlie go camping little hand manual here oh look at this we got full there's the open screen you got the full graphic effect here of exactly what you're getting yourself into um there's some option screens you got in the game you got them packing up so it's kind of like a little storybook there's them driving to the campsite. And then there's them setting up camp. Then you got uh, with the tent. Hmm. And uh, I guess they went and did a little exploring. Decided to kick a beehive. Got his head stuck in the beehive. Probably shouldn't be camping. And then somehow he got his head out of the beehive, and now they're sleeping. So clearly he's not allergic to bees. Um, but one of the tails belongs to someone else. So now they're now they're getting into snakes. Sounds like an adventure, huh? Now they're catching fish. Looks like they went hiking. Looks like they got scared in the night. Pretty nuts, huh? Somehow there's a large dinosaur that killed one of them. But they were alive to go diving in the pond. Fell off a cliff, still alive. Interesting. And looks like them they're camping in their backyard instead, because it was more fun. The end. Rhinosaur butt. Alright. There we go. Rhinoceros butt. That's how they end the book. That's great, huh? So you got a little book right there. You got the uh, pack and material of the Sierra warranty registration card, which is in pristine condition here. 
When it completes Sierra Dynamics Game Library. Cool. Interaction Magazine. And then it has a bunch of, I guess, survey questions for them to build their customer data. Notice they don't do that stuff anymore. Uh, build customer data or ask you questions. It's because they're just spying on you on your phone anyway and just finding the information they want to know. They don't need to ask you anymore because they're just getting it from you no matter what. So then you got... Um, this packing material, which is due to a print error, some of the information with the technical manual is incorrect. You should be aware of these changes. So this is a supplemental information, which is explained here um, for an update from the original uh, manual. So you got the Sierra game manual here. Look at that vintage PC with the Sierra logo over it. Choice. So this is the supplementation um correction was in this book so I imagine these were just mass printed this is just all the sierra information that explains to you how to sync stuff and sync the game and get all the sound working that's probably in every sierra game and then that's just a supplemental material it's probably easier just to print one card than it is to reprint the whole game manual and scrap all the ones they've already printed so we got the sierra it looks like a little quick quick start tutorial here which allows you to kind of explain what is going on here uh, when you first put the game in how to quit um, it tells you some of the keyboard commands here and then it has a list of all the credits everyone who's involved in creating this game it looks like uh, bill davis was the main focal point for the creation process and the direction of the game um, so that is pretty cool i definitely think i i obviously play the game itself but uh the packing material it's just interesting looking at some of the titles and things that you and i would have bought back in the day and how they actually come and when you see something new like this that's you know over 20 years old it makes you kind of want to check it out and see exactly what it was like 20 years ago to check this out for the first time so if you like this review give it a thumbs up if you want more content like this subscribe for more we do retro reviews every single Friday, so be on the lookout for that. And it could range from PC games, video games, to vintage toys. Have a great rest of your day.